could be advantageous for everyone. Well, I'm thirsty right now, though. Probably. I don't know. Don't ignore me. Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Guardians of the Galaxy the Telltale series. We're on the last episode so far. I'm hoping Telltale considers putting more episodes after episode 5. That'd be nice. Or like make a season 2. That'd be nice. Cool. But we're gonna do episode 5, Don't Stop Believing. This is the last episode, like I said, so far. But yeah, it's the last episode anyway. Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. You were too weak, too selfish to destroy the Forge. Now, our empire, our people, shall rise again! I mean it this time, man. When we get out of here, I'm out. I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Peter! You must do it! Now! Damn it, Trex! I'm not doing it! I am Groot! Oh no! Groot! What, what happened? I was going to fight that beast to the death, but Quill would not let me. I have been denied the sanctification of sacrifice, and I demand mediation. It's all Pete's fault! Look at Groot! Thank you for freeing me, and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. I thought we were friends, Rocky. Me too, Pete. Me too. Next up, is your Kodax device one drink sick? and then a we find out. Suggests... <sighs> a guy in the helmet behind him. Where to even start? We have some breaking news. Behind Star Wars, reports there. are flying in about a and violent more. Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. That was easier than expected. I'll see if they can pour us something a bit stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. You are the Star Lord that's caused nothing but trouble for Allah. Are you not? I need your help. Well, you got a funny way of asking. Most people don't point a gun in my face when they want my help. Look, I. My. My name is Baldi. Remember that. Son of Allah, the accuser. You've seen what my mother is capable of, the weapon she now has in her possession. You want to stop her, right? Let us work together. No more people have to die. It could be advantageous for everyone. Well, I'm thirsty right now, though. 
Probably. I don't know. Don't ignore me. I'm not ignoring Put you. I just want a drink. Down. I lived my life. There is treason to my people. I just so I could find you and stop my mother from destroying our. What the hell is going on here? Gamora, this is Baldin, Hala's son. He wants to help us. Hala's son? I don't like this, Peter. This has to be some sort of trap. He probably thought he could take advantage of you. I only wish to help you. The Cree word for help is also the word for murder. I'm not so sure. Think he might actually want to help us. What's more likely? That he'd willingly betray his mother and help us? Or that Hala sent him here to catch us off our guard? Oh, I suppose we could use him to gather intel on Hala. If there was a way to be sure he was being truthful. Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm sorry that I bothered you. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're not going anywhere, friend. Wait, Gamora, where are you? Make sure he doesn't leave. I'll be back. Uh, okay. All right, Baldin, I'm in charge now. You listen to my orders. <laughs> Just a fan. Mantis? Groot? Sorry about the wait. Mantis needed a little convincing. With Mantis's help, we'll be able to figure out if he's telling the truth. This is why you dragged me back? You said it was life or death. I am You just want to use my powers as some sort of lie test. Hala has a super weapon and is killing innocent people. That's the textbook definition of life or death. Okay. But what does Mantis he have to do will, with that? Mantis will remember that. This isn't just some random Kree. This is Hala's son. I'm... Groot? Your mother is very mean. She is. She killed Nebula. Okay, I'll help. And she killed Peter. But I'm doing this for the galaxy, not for you. Fine. I'll ask the questions. You just I think tell so. me if he's lying well, or not. Nebula was trying oh. to defend Gamora, but then she got sliced. About me like I'm not so here? I guess. So I do. So I guess Hala did kill not Nebula. Not that being treated like I'm invisible is anything new. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Don't worry. I'm used to it. My friend Mantis here is an empath. Which means she'll know if you're lying, so... <laughs> tell the truth. Why did you come here? It is as I said before. I came here to stop my mother and save my people. The Kree have a mistaken view on superiority. If we were truly great, we would lead by example, not by force. <laughs> oh. And you really think that's possible? Only through acceptance of all kinds will we be able to grow and prosper. Wow, look at you. Truly an original. I bet you are a real hit at Cree parties. Not particularly, no. My people, I just need new leadership. <laughs> and it sounds like you've got someone in mind for the job. Oh, I had never really considered it. Stop lying to me. Maybe you didn't understand what I said before. I know you're lying, so don't screw oh, with me. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Maybe Peter. I have considered it. Yeah, just stop. I would say stop but lying I, to me, but not BAM. I'm not sure I am fit to be a leader. It's hard to tell between the fear and shame, but I think he's telling the truth. I know as long as Hala continues to leave the Kree, they will never change. And I, I can't help but feel responsible. My mother, she wasn't always like this. She used to be different. I am Groot. So tell me, what was Hala like? She was uncompromisingly strict, as a leader and a parent. It was her way or no one's way. But I thought she truly loved her people. She didn't kill like this before. I have a proposition. 
I am Hala's only child. If she thinks you are keeping me hostage, it would emotionally compromise her. She'll become careless. It could give you the advantage you need to defeat her, freeing the Kree from her rule. All I ask in return for my cooperation is when the time comes, you must promise to spare her life. He could just be using us so he can rise to power. Please! There has been enough death! I am Groot. I don't know about this. Couldn't you use him as an ally? Okay. You got a deal. You help us take down you accepted Hala, Baldin's and we promise deal. to keep her alive. Thank you, Star-Lord. Your word is your bond, as is mine. We'll be watching you. Then you will see I have no ill intentions. You're going to stay where I can see you. We're going back to the ship. Let's go. But even with Baldin's help, do we still have a chance? Hala is armed with a devastating weapon, combined with the forge. There's no stopping her. I am Groot. But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It wasn't all bad, Mantis. We had plenty of good times. Come on, Groot, help me out here. Hmm. I am Groot. <gasps> what... what is it? Alright, now go on going to another memory. There are a lot of memories you go in, no kidding. Get your hands off me, man! I'm innocent! You got the wrong guys! Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes! Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. I did not know this was an animal prison, too. I am Groot, and I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon. Yeah, she had a sword. I mean, the one Knock the no for well would already take that, all right? All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me Star Lord. Yeah, <laughs> mustache. I'm sure you've all heard of me, especially you. I am Groot. Really? Him? Is Rocket nice being jealous? What kind of tree are you? Like Spruce? Scared? So. I am Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh, Gamora's color yet. armor has a different uh, set of color, I guess. We're yeah. too good looking to stay locked up in here. Different, think? basically different colors. The second for the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing, eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. 
I am Groot. Not now, Tree Man. I have a plan. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It I am Groot. Fighting isn't gonna get us anywhere. Okay, I think whatever you say, Star-Lord will copy you. So like when I said we have to work together, he's like basically summarizing it like we have to work together. We need to work together. Hey, See, to exactly admit there. It, Stash Lord is right. We're fighting the wrong people. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it Wait to hear this. Hmm. The Great Escape. The Great you Escape. See that there? The most He's the only like, one with the original key name ever or like just There's basic. no way we can get to it. So we got to escape another way. There's a force field all around us but not mm. below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are going to use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree, well, you're going to have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You're the perfect distraction, so that uh, knife lady can <laughs> kick knife the guards' lady. asses until they're well, unconscious. Yeah. And what are you doing while we do all the work? Well, the most important part, I'm gonna spring my hover bike out of evidence lockdown. Then you can all hop on the back, we ride like hell for Switzerland. I mean, uh, somewhere far from here, where we never have to see each other again. That, that last part. Only part I like. So, everyone clear on what they gotta do? I am still confused about the beefy mitts. Please, start over. <sighs> okay, back to the top. And now they're just all standing there, I guess. Peter's... I think I see Peter wearing a white shirt instead of a blue one. <laughs> he got knocked up by a hand, dude. I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die. But know that I will never forget you. Or... We could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this... Is the beginning of a beautiful friend... Escape! You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. That's a lot of a lot of Nova Core probably getting beat up. I I was wrong about you guys. There's a reason you all ended up together. I never knew. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. Then let's go get them back. I am Groot.
Episode 5, Don't Stop Believing. I am Groot. Welcome back. We still need to find where Rocket and Drax have run off to. They could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. How do you propose we track them down? Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea. What? You're going to love it. Well, it looks like a dome or something. minds this is inside my mind it seems kind of empty <laughs> why why is Peter's mind so empty before, and you didn't die or anything this is amazing I wasn't sure it would work but it did well I'm just happy that uh, you're happy mantis I am happy isn't this so neat this island here represents your subconscious mind Peter and those other islands represent your friends. Drax and Rocket could be anywhere in the galaxy. In order to find where they are, we need to build a bridge. A uh, bridge? Yes. A bridge of feelings. A bridge of feelings? I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party started. Just... It'll be fun. Let's get this party started. <laughs> party started. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Hmm. Well, all the guardians have some love. Generate thoughts oh, that a circle that? of bubble thingies. On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Okay. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete. Hmm. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. Uh, okay. Thanks, Gamora. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the force. We can revive Lila. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. Good. Your emotions for Drax are drawing us to him. Let's go talk to Mantis. Mantis. Yes, Peter. Yes, Peter. What? Why? Why are all these voices like being all weird and like all these balls? I think they're talking to me. <laughs> like, Mantis, can you tell me what's going on with these floaty balls? Hey, I'm sorry we made you feel uncomfortable before. I didn't mean to cause you any pain. Thank you, Peter. I know I said some things. I regret it as well. But everything's going to work out. I know it. I can get her back if we charge it. So is this what your mind like here all the time? From Rocket? Is Not this always. like I can get Sometimes her back I can like yeah, yeah, just, world to live I'm trying in. to talk though. I come here whenever I feel overwhelmed. I've been able to hone my powers during the centuries I was imprisoned. It was my only refuge during those times of darkness. I can get her back. So, what do I do now? Each memory 
Each emotion will help build a bridge. You should gather more memories until we can find a path across. Okay. Gotta keep feeling stuff. Good luck. <laughs> Gotta keep feeling stuff. I can get it back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. Floaty, floaty. Sparkle, sparkles. We have a strong emotional connection with Rocket. That's good. I can sense him. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. What do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? Hmm. I'd say probably conflicted. I kind of find them really conflicted. Yes, Peter. Okay. Got to keep feeling stuff. Good luck. Got to keep feeling stuff. I discarded everything, even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovart. That was just like last episode, I think. When Jack said that. I think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Yeah, you're Let's so deep when you're more. just kind of quiet about you it. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. Kind of, sort of. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? It's like, wow, he is actually deep, though. So I think for this one, guys, no matter what you choose, it's going to be the same one for this one, the third one. So I'll just click, um, I guess I'll do awesome. <laughs> I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Strike the destroyer has purpose once again. Yes, Drax is back. Your feelings for Drax seem to be in a state of flux, constantly changing. It looks like we can reach that island now. Peter, you make a lot of footsteps. You're like, cool, pull, pull, tuh, tuh, See, it takes so loud footsteps. Remember this place from his memory. This is his home world, Kylos. He has strong Kylos, emotions Kylo Ren. to this place. Coward. What are you going to say when you see him again? Yeah, Kylos, Kylo Ren. <laughs> that I missed the old Drax. In the short time I've known him, he's always seemed troubled, hurting. I'm gonna remind him of how we used to be, and all the good times we had. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. All right. Yes, Peter. Still the same. Okay. Got to keep feeling stuff. Good luck. Hey, I was surrounded by a door of 
I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. There are so many contrasting emotions that you feel towards Gamora. I think I should get this now because I think if you get the other two then you can't get Gamora because she's already on the ship. You created a bridge to Gamora. That's the Milana. It makes sense. Gamora's already with me. In spite of all you've been through, Gamora cares a lot for you. You are very lucky to have someone such as her by your side. Can you sense her feelings? I'm... About me? I can feel that your relationship is one that she values deeply. Okay. So I know where Gamora is, but there's still more of these emotion or things. They represent your feelings, Peter. You should explore them. Your feelings, Peter? Yeah, it kind of seems like other people's feelings. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. He's like, it kind of makes no excuse for making people go thirsty or something. Your emotions towards Rocket are extremely complicated and varied. You create a bridge to rocket. No more orbs, by my guess. I'm walking 1,000 miles a lot in my mind, and it's taking forever. Let's open it. Open the blue thing. I know this place. It's the lab on Half World. Oh, this place was very painful for Rocket. I wonder why he would return. <sighs> this is where he met Lila, and where he buried her. I think he just wanted to return to her. <sighs> Rocket. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Surprising people is my specialty. Yes, and you are certainly full of surprises. <laughs> you are certainly full of so, surprises. I guess we just have to pick them up. Who should we get first? Surprise. Let's grab Rocket, and then Drax. Let's go! Choose to get Rocket first. Yeah, let's go get Rocket first. Rocket, get go first, I guess. Room. Half World, Keystone Quadrant. There's the small moon again. I think I mentioned in episode two, I'm like, I think I said that, that's a small moon. Uh, it's all mossy. I can feel that Brock still has in a automatic very doors. Delicate state. Do you think he'll come back willingly? Of course he'll come back, Mantis. He's not gonna just throw our friendship into the garbage. Tay's like maybe. Da 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 da. Ooh. Glowy bluey thing. I'm surprised not even seeing you over through the window here. Yeah. 
You just don't know where to take a freaking hit, do you? Read my lips. I am done. You can take you stupid guardian. I I'd be asking, how did you find me? And stick and shove it for all I care, you, you jerk. You and your jerky jerk face with your jerk eyebrows and jerkness. You might as well call you jerk lord. Okay, okay, I get it. And I deserve it. I deserve all of it. Well, yeah. Good. Probably for Groot. I, He's I, mad at I, me for I'm Groot. I'm glad we're on the same page about this. It's a freaking deal. You told me I was free to go. Plus, I won't have to so get less mad as possible. You stupid ship that badly? I Should can't I get find anyone else in this that, stupid I think. galaxy desperate enough to join your stupid team. I miss you, Rocket. Yeah, miss this! Whoa! What the hell? What? Why? Why are you even here, Quill? You told me to leave. You gave me your, your blessing of whatever. Look at you. You can barely stand and you're dealing with highly explosive materials. You can't blame me for worrying about you. Well, you guys you are a team and you, get, and you guys are all friends. Friends can worry get about lost, each other sometimes. You. Done with your hero crap. Go find a black hole to fall in. And let me blow this place up in peace. Blow it up? Dude! Isn't that your origin? I know you might not like it, but I wouldn't blow it up. Jeez. How much of this has he gone through? He weighs nothing. How is he even still standing? Maybe the hatred or something? Now, you guys might have noticed, but bam, there's like a secret door in here. place this see he says he was being in this place if he had if my if my camera theory was actually true like i was guessing i think episode two part two i was saying um how if peter got lila's picture i wasn't sure how he got the memory pictures so i'm like what so i'm like he says he was there so i'm like was he actually watching or was he actually really just there standing or something this is where Lila fought back before she got injected. I wish they both could have escaped. Don't touch those. Th those are those are special. I got one for every bad memory in this crap hole. I'm gonna blow this whole place sky high <laughs> it'll be carved cathartic 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 ha ah, yeah that, that's the word maybe rocket could use a hand i'll take those so you don't destroy the place never know they could be useful later well, with rocket blitzed out of his mind there's no telling how stable these things are hey i heard that jackass yeah, <laughs> Pierre's just like, I'm gonna take these, don't mind me. I think if you look at the explosives, um, another time, Rocket just trips you up by saying, boo, or something like that. Well, it looks like Rocket's already taken care of this place. Grab that one, too. Oh, Rocket. I remember what it was like in here. You remember? You're the one who's watching. place can't imagine anyone being cramped in something so small and this is where he lived most of his life oh felt terrible being stuck in there oh what the hell man thought i made myself clear i don't want to talk to you all i care about is blowing this place to bits. Yeah, because you're not. I took I took your bombs. Not all of them, but some. No way! 
Actually, you never know. Maybe we could use the bombs against Hala. Hey, uh, don't you think you should put the explosives down? You know, just for everyone's sake, really. I ain't leaving till every bad memory of this place has got a bomb strapped to it. And it's blown to friggin' smithereens. Ah, just leave me alone. Nope. Rocket, will you come to your senses? You're being unreasonable. If being unreasonable means I don't have to talk to you, that's fine. Do you have flammable chemicals? You could like burn the whole building with like just the vines and stuff. You say you want to be alone, but you know what? Between you and me, I think you'd make one hell of a lousy hermit. God, crack your stupid jokes. Root got job broiled thanks to you. I'm done with your crap. Beat it, Quill. Nope. I don't really give up that easy. Look, I... I'm sorry that I got Groot hurt. Oh, is that what this is? You nearly kill one of my friends, apologize for it, and bam, all's forgiven? Is that, is that how this works with you? Guilt-free hero. Must be so nice to go to bed as Peter friggin' Quill. I do. I guess of I course don't really feel guilty. Feel guilty, guilty what happened but to him maybe that... Peter does. That was all my fault. You don't know what real guilt feels like. Not like me. Everyone Everybody on this has team different is guilt, expendable to you. right? So leave me out of it. Lost enough. Nope. Actually, yeah. Yeah, walk away. You just say walk away once. I think you'll just have that. No bombs. Yeah, see? No animation. Rocket, I... Look, I've never once thought the Guardians are expendable. Then look me in the eye and promise me no one else is gonna die. I can't promise that. You know I can't promise that. It's not possible to control everything that happens. <laughs> control time stop. You get it, man. I'm afraid. Okay. I'm afraid I'm gonna end up alone again. I, I don't know how you do it. Ain't you scared? I mean, you, you go running head first into the battle like it's nothing. Like you got a death wish or something. How do you do it? Don't let fear hold you back, or you'll never get anywhere. Maybe, maybe you got a point. <laughs> maybe you got a I'm point. I got a feeling like this, you know? Feel afraid. I just, I don't want to be the last one standing again. Ah, uh, one reason, one good reason why I should come back. That <laughs> steering contest. I don't think Lila would want you to keep running from the people who care about you most. You have no idea what, what Lila would want. But damn it, you're probably right. Ha! <laughs> Got ya. It's too good for this screwed up galaxy. You're too good for this. Let's I go. lost to I'm, the battle of voices. I don't know. Yay, the place did not blow up. Good. Hey, it's like sunny. Alright, now we gotta go get Drax. 
Now Drax is actually kind of funny when you when you guys might see it. You if you do some choices, you'll see how funny it can come out. Bye half world, run Kylos, Kylo Ren. Vita Kareen cluster. Alright. Huh. Any idea who that could be? Star Lord! <laughs> He's like, oh, great. You must know why I am contacting you. Admit it! Admit what you have done! Let's just act this out. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? Ah, uh, you know who <laughs> this Gore's is. like, ah, uh, come on, accuser. Peter. You have taken oh, I'm sorry. I, you haven't even called and me, though. I want Seriously, Hala has even called him before, though. Buck. I do not know how I don't think it, so. But I want him back now. Give me the Eternity Forge. I want the Eternity Forge back in my hands. You return that to me, you get your son. You think I will just forfeit it to you? Yep. Absolutely not. Wow. Mother. That kind of shows you don't care about your well, son as much. Who it is? Please, mother. Just do as they ask. Sort of. I don't know. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him in any way. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son. No one threatens me. I just did. Are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have you got underestimated you look kind of here of human beings but meeting them in person is infinitely worse I understand now why many have attempted to destroy your planet so are we done here is there anything else you needed I am coming for you I shall destroy nowhere then I will continue to earth there will be no home for you to run to. we'll stop you she hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. Why are you asking? You real way with people, what, why are you me? asking that Since she hung up on me? You were the one who were like, are we I've done here? I've never seen anyone annoy my mother so much before. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. We've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with her before and we can do it again. And this time, we'll win. If she's coming for us on nowhere. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you for the next video. I'll be back soon. I'm gonna go get Drax.